Hello class, um, this is going to be a video on uh, how to make the hands, um, it doesn't matter if it's male or female, we're going to use basically the same principles, obviously if it's a male, maybe you decide to make the hands a little bit more stubby, and if you're female, you'll make the fingers a little more slender, but all the techniques covered in this video will be basically the same, okay, so we're going to start out with a polycube, and let's make sure some of our settings are on. We're going to turn symmetry off if you have symmetry on. Um, and um, I'm still using um, interactive create. So basically, uh, you know, either you have it on or you don't. It doesn't really matter because we're going to go to the channel box and we're going to change it anyway. Okay. So what we're going to do now is create a 2 by 1 by 2 um, cube with 2 by 2 by 1 um, subdivisions. So two width, one height, two depth, two subdivisions width, one subdivision height, and two subdivision depth. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and frame it on all of our um, screens. Frame here using the hotkey F. Okay. And the one that we're going to mainly use is going to be the perspective view anyway. Okay. So um, always start out with Z, uh, the Z axis kind of pointing lower left. So that later on, um, if we do have symmetry things, um, we all talk about the same reference and the same numbers. Okay. So anyway, let's talk about um, our plan. Okay. So this is kind of like the beginning of our palm. Okay. We have uh, right here. It's going to be the index finger. It's going to be extruding out here. This is going to be the middle finger out here. This is going to be where we're going to extrude our thumb. Okay. And this is kind of like again. This is going to be kind of like the base of our palm. Okay, all right. So um, uh, right now you can tell by uh, the fact that I have this yellow here. I have soft select on, so make sure you turn the soft select off. And I'm going to extrude these two faces right here to make the uh, ring finger and pinky, since we are dealing with a humanoid. So again, the hot key for extrude is um, either Control E, or you can use the Move tool and just hold Shift. So I'm going to go ahead and make the ring finger and right now I don't really have any precise numbers um, I just prefer the uh, ring finger to be a little bit smaller than the middle finger and the pinky to be even smaller than those two so you can see from my front view here that um, I have a middle finger a ring finger and a um, a pinky okay so now we're going to extrude now um, in a perfect world we would extrude each of these individually and um, to make fingers, but um, most of the time, when you animate uh, in low poly, the you know the fingers don't individually move. So we're going to actually make the middle finger, ring finger, and pinky uh, all at the same time. So I'm actually going to just shift uh, shift to click on this face, shift click to click on this face, and shift click to hit on this face, and we're going to start um, making our fingers. So we're going to start out by making the first set of knuckles. So I'll only use um, maybe just uh, I already have the move tool on, so I can just hold shift and create a uh, small knuckle here. Okay, and uh, I'm going to start tilting it down. So I'm going to use E, hotkey E to tilt, and I'm going to tilt it a little down. Okay, and that's remember every time we have a knuckle or a moving part, we need two sections. So I'm going to do another section here. So I'm going to use uh, back to W. Just hold shift and extrude a little bit more. You can kind of see here from the side view how much I'm tilting. And if I don't like how long it is, maybe I can shorten it down a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to use uh, E again to uh, rotate. Okay. Hot key E to rotate. Okay. And rotate down. So now I have two sections um, to finish my first set of knuckles. Now the first section of fingers is the proximo, and we're going to make a uh, section for that. So actually, I did not hit extrude, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and extrude um, using Control E. And now this is going to be more perpendicular. Okay, so I'm going to use actually Control E. It looks like it tilts a little bit more. Um, so here we go, we're going to have a proximal section, 
So the proximal section, as you look at it, it looks like a rectangle, roughly one and a half of the width. So about that much there. And actually, I'm going to use rotate right now and rotate it kind of downward already. So I can really get the curl on my fingers. So I'm going to tilt it, I don't know, about that much. And that finishes the proximal section. Now I'm going to make the next part of my knuckles. So I'm going to um, use extrude. So I'm going to control E again and extrude down and E to rotate again. Okay, that makes the first part of the knuckle. I'm going to use control E again to extrude. Okay, and E to rotate. Okay, and I got the first uh, a big knuckle in the middle. So again, um, if you remember your finger uh, anatomy, we have uh, three sections to our fingers. So now we are extruding for the um, second part here. Okay, and that's a little bit shorter than this section. So that looks about right. I'm going to go ahead and rotate it, E and rotate. get a little bit more uh, lower and now I'm going to use control E uh, to extrude again a small section for uh, the next knuckle I'm going to rotate it down I'm going to use control E again to extrude E to rotate okay and now I have one last section okay and one last section um, I'm going to control E and uh, make the last section and the last section is the smallest of the three sections so just slightly smaller than that and then I'm going to go ahead and actually use the R tool um, to scale it down a little bit because fingers don't get fatter they get skinnier especially toward the tip so I'm just gonna go ahead and taper it in a little bit and you can see using the front view that I have this little tapered here tapered there um, and I also want to do is another quick rotation using the front view here. I'm going to rotate it um, kind of uh, toward the middle finger so my fingers look um, a little bit uh, longer toward the middle. And sometimes uh, when you're in these special views, um, you might need to rotate on two axes. So I'm going to kind of rotate this way and I think a little forward. There you go. Okay. So I get the kind of tapered look here where I have a pinky. I think I want to do a little bit more extreme. Okay. And maybe I need to do, let's see. Yeah, that way. That way, but I want that way. All right, so kind of play with this a little bit here. Get the tilt that I want. I'm not getting the axis that I want here. Something like that. Yeah, okay, so that one kind of gives me that tapered look. And this is going to fix my straightness. So there we go. So um, using this axis, I can kind of get that middle finger, pinky finger feel. <coughs> and um, make sure that this is straight here. It looks straight right there. Okay, so now we got kind of a pinky, ring finger, and index, and uh, middle finger. Okay, I'm going to use the perspective view now and go ahead and go where I'm going to extrude the index finger. So uh, we want the index finger to not be kind of clumped up with the other three fingers um, because we might need to, uh, you know, um, end up putting, you know, bone structure into that finger later for animation. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to this face right here, and we're just going to angle it out just a little bit. So I'm just going to angle it out a little bit here. So you can look at the top view here and see that it's going to be slightly angled out. It's not doesn't have to be a lot um, as long as it's separated and that we can put um, some um, rigging in it later so that we can rig it for animation. Okay, and that means like putting bone structure in and whatnot. Okay, so now I'm going to start my extrusions again. So I'm going to use Control E and I'm going to extrude out the first part of my knuckle. Okay. And I'm going to use E to rotate it a little down. Okay. And um, and let's see. Do I need anything else? That looks good. Okay. I'm going to make my second part of my knuckle. Control E to extrude. 
So extrude a little bit more. Okay, uh, now I'm going to rotate down. And you kind of see the separation right now starting to form. Um, maybe even I don't have to do that much separation. Um, that should be enough. Okay, I'm going to do the first section of my finger, the proximo. Control E to extrude. Okay, and now I'm going to actually start rotating it down just a little bit. And you kind of look at the side view here and figure out how much I need to rotate it down. So I'm going to rotate it down like that. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and make the first set of knuckles. Control E to extrude. And now I'm going to use E to rotate down. Control E to extrude again. Um, and now, let's say, for example, I didn't like this part of knuckle. This is actually a good opportunity for us to talk about. Um, can we still fix um, some of our, you know, our angles or whatnot if we don't like, let's say, a previous knuckle? Now, you can obviously control Z, but you can go back, and if you really want to, you can go ahead and change, double-click on the edges, and if you really wanted to rotate it a little bit less or more, you can kind of do this right here, right? Let's say you wanted to move it a little more back. You can move it a little bit more back, right? So to kind of give it, you know, maybe a symmetry look or whatnot. So it doesn't mean that once you're done with it, you always have to control Z. You can go back and edit, you know, edge loops and whatnot. Okay. All right. So back to this. So we finished our first set of knuckles and I'm going to go ahead and extrude again, control E and extrude the next section. Actually, I'm going to go back a little bit. I think I didn't rotate this one. I'm going to rotate it down up. You can see here that I extruded when I didn't want to. So let's go ahead and undo that, undo and extrude. Okay. So now I'm going to rotate, uh, rotate down. Anytime you see, like when you are rotating, that the uh, there's still a silhouette of the previous one, you did an extrude on top of an extrude. Okay, so try to avoid that. All right, so I moved it down a little bit more, and now I'm ready to extrude. Go ahead and create the second section of my index finger. Now, if you really want to make a more slender look, um, you could, um, in essence, start using R every section of the finger if you want to really make slender fingers. For especially female fingers, you might want to use R tool every single, you know, section of the finger to really make that kind of slender look for fingers. But I, I'm going to go ahead and change you guys, show you guys the, um, the the smooth view, and you kind of see that the fingers are already kind of, you know, slendering down a little bit and really rounded out. Okay, so, all right, back to this. Um, uh, I'm going to, I just extruded, so let's go ahead and rotate. A little bit down. Uh, did, I, did I extrude enough? Um, no, I think my section is a little bit too small. So I'm gonna control Z a little bit. Control Z, control Z. Um, back. Uh, let's control Y if you wanna redo. And um, let's go back to the move tool. And um, and ah, control Z. And I'm just go ahead and extrude this face. Extruding does perpendicular moves. Does uh, world view. So I'm going to go ahead and extrude down a little bit more, angle it down a little bit more there, and then go ahead and start forming my knuckles. Control E, E to rotate, okay, uh, Control E to extrude, E to rotate, and the last part of the fingers, um, Control E to extrude. And it's not going to be as long as the, let's look at the top view here. Um, it's not going to be as long as the other fingers. So I'm losing my perspective view. If I look at it from this view, it should be smaller than, or shorter than my middle finger. So I'm going to use the R tool now and go ahead and scale it down. Okay. And now we have our index finger. Okay. All right. So the next part is now we're going to start making the thumb. Okay, so the thumb is going to come out here, and um, and then it's going to have like a web part for the thumb. So what we're going to first do is go ahead and take this face and use Control E, and go ahead and extrude it out. Okay, now um, we're going to extrude out just a little bit, and then we're going to use the E tool to rotate it because this is not actually where the thumb is going to stick out. The thumb is actually going to stick out on this face. 
So we're going to use E and rotate it and rotate it in, kind of create this little triangular pocket. Okay. And um, let's, before we go ahead and make the thumb, let's go ahead and actually fix um, the back side of the hand. Okay. So um, obviously our palm is not this small. Our palm is actually relatively big. So what I'm going to have you guys do is go ahead and go to Vertex. And I want you to select all the vertex on the top. You can use the top view here to kind of guarantee that you have all of them here. And we're just going to use the Move tool, not the Extrude tool, the Move tool, and just move it back a little bit. Okay. So you guys get a better understanding of um, how big the hand will look. Okay. And now we can go back and um, look at this face one more time. And maybe even rotate it a little bit more. And don't worry about the extra edge that we have here. We're going to end up merging that anyway. And now we have a place for our thumb. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see. Is that big enough? And if it's not big enough, what we can do is go and click on edge. Click on this edge right here. And just use the move tool. And move it out so that we have a bigger section for our thumb to kind of come out and go underneath. Okay. How we're going to model it is going to go out and underneath the hand kind of in a gripping motion. Okay. And um, and then it's a good opportunity right now to actually take care of this edge uh, so that we don't have to deal with it later. Okay, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go to vertex mode, and we're going to click on the uh, modeling toolkit, and we're going to use the tool called Target Weld. You should be very familiar with it because we used it before, and we're going to use uh, to target the option to target. So I'm going to actually combine these two edges. So I don't want to have this extra face, so I'm going to take this and target that over here and I'll merge it take that go to here and that's going to merge it and that's going to simplify our geometry so now we have this kind of you know really good um, palm of the hand with a little triangular web to kind of make uh, our fingers okay all right so let's go ahead and go back to face mode and go ahead and click on uh, this face right here um, I'll go to optic mode first object mode or just click on the cube um, and when we go back to face oh, I'm on target weld make sure you go to the select tool make sure you click on the select tool and we're back to selecting faces and um, I kind of don't like the way it's positioned because it doesn't have that much of an angle to kind of extrude out if I extrude like this it's gonna be very close to the index finger so I'm gonna kind of use E right here to rotate and I'm going to rotate it um, just a little bit out like that. Okay, you can kind of see the top view and kind of see where how much is rotating, so that um, you know you can kind of see uh, how far I'm rotating to kind of create the thumb. And again, I'm not an expert, so you know I'm not guaranteeing that you know the thumb will look just about right. But uh, a thumb, if you look at your thumb right now, it only has two sections, so we only have basically two sets of knuckles, okay, and two sections of finger. So we don't have really have that much room, so we're going to have to do kind of a bigger, probably bigger knuckles. And you look at your thumb, your thumb does kind of have bigger knuckles. So let's go ahead and start implementing this. So I'm going to um, rotate it to the side like this, and I'm actually going to rotate it a little bit down. Okay, so I'm going to rotate it a little bit downward here. And kind of fix that a little bit right there. Okay, so I want to really angle it down because um, I'm going to need a lot of sections to bend downward in order to get this thumb to kind of go underneath and around uh, underneath the palm okay all right so I moved it to the side and downward so I'm going to start extruding so control E makes a perpendicular extrude I'll go ahead and extrude downward like this and I'm going to use rotate so again it's a little bit bigger of a knuckle and I'm going to use rotate and I'm going to rotate again downward um, you know kind of inward and downward here okay so you can see that it's starting to build a knuckle in here that's going to aim downward I'm going to control E now again to make another extrude and again I'm going to have a kind of a bigger knuckle because our thumbs only have two knuckles and they tend to be a little bit bigger I'm going to use the E tool to kind of rotate down and in okay so I'm kind of getting this finger to wrap inward here okay and now I'm going to go ahead and make the first section the first of two sections for my thumb. So I'm going to control E again to extrude. Push it way down here. And the first section of your 
thumb is pretty much similar to the first section of your uh, the other parts of your hand. So kind of use your perspective view and kind of eyeball it if you need to make it longer or shorter. Mine looks like I need to be a little bit longer here. All right, and now the second part of my knuckle, which is still a pretty big knuckle, um, I'm going to use a rotate tool, kind of rotate in again and down. Something like that. And now I want to make the control E, my last set of knuckles, extrude, control E, extrude and rotate. I'm going to rotate in. Nope, that doesn't rotate in. Uh, this kind of rotates in. Yep. So kind of look at my angle here. I'm making the thumb so I can wrap it all the way in. Um, so maybe rotate a little bit more. A little bit more inward here. Okay. And control E again for my last pair of knuckles. So remember, every knuckle has two, pa uh, two sections. So I'm going to push it in a little bit more. Use E to rotate. Rotate in. Rotate forward. And the last part of my thumb. So control E to extrude. And I'm going to kind of, um, this is where I want my thumb to end up. Let's kind of look at this. Is that where I want my thumb to end up? Yeah, I think that's good enough. I'm not going to ask for perfection here. Hands are one of the hardest things to draw. So I'm going to make it just a little bit longer. Not too long. It's about 50-50 compared to your first section of your finger. And that uh, or maybe just a little bit less than 50. And then now I'm going to use the R tool to kind of create that um, tapered look. Your thumb gets obviously smaller at the tip. And something like that. And I have my hand now. And that finishes how to make the left hand of a humanoid. So let's go ahead and look on smooth view with number three. Uh, not, number, not number four. Or not number number three. Okay. Turn off my wireframe. There we go. And now you can kind of see it in smooth view. And this is my my hand. Okay. And that finishes up this video. In the uh, next videos, I'm going to show you to actually how to attach it to the male and female uh, references.